Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. Uh, this episode is called The Iron Man, uh, but it could also be called uh, Read a Book and Make Some Think from It, uh, because this episode is about uh, the book, the novel, The Iron Man, written by Ted Hughes in 1968, and it's a science fiction novel, and it's often, uh, well, I, I was actually inspired uh, to create this because I, I've been to visit a primary school and in one of the classrooms in the primary school it was chock full of amazing robots that have been made out of toilet paper and bits of uh, bits of cereal boxes and stuff like that and basically uh, all the primary school kids have been read the book and they've been doing a project all about the Iron Man or kind of uh, otherwise known as the Iron Giant as well because there's a there's a cartoon about it as well kind of but it's very Americanized uh, but the original story the Iron Man is written by Ted Hughes who's a British poet laureate and it descri describes a giant metal man who comes who rains down destruction on the countryside and attacks farm equipment and stuff like that and then then befriends a small boy uh, and then defends the world against a, a, a giant alien attack from space and then uh, becomes a kind of hero. It's a brilliant story and what we've got here is we've got, I started sort of making these legs thinking I'd make this thing and then I actually gave it to uh, a kind of uh, one of our, I run a, a Minecraft club on a Tuesday and Sean finished it off for me. Uh, he finished it off. He recognised the story, had done it at school as well uh, and so you know, I suggested that he kind of comes in and if he wanted to, he could finish off the Iron Giant. And this was what he made, amazing stuff. Now, so my suggestion is, uh, if you are doing the Iron Man, uh, then you could have a whole classroom of these Iron Giants in the landscape. That would be amazing. If everybody gets put onto creative, wouldn't that be amazing, Django? Yeah. Yeah, so my little boy is just sitting next door to me. So we're going to be starting to read the Iron Man uh, very shortly. And we're going to be doing this uh, just for ourselves as well. So there you go, this is a nice short and sweet one, but again, it's called The Iron Man, but of course it could be called uh, reading a book and making something in Minecraft that relates to that, okay, uh, and kind of letting your imagination go wild. Uh, so can you think of any other books that would be a good kind of good Minecraft uh ways to in inspire Minecraft creations. Uh, if you do, leave them in the comments below, like this video and uh, let me know and get in, in touch as well. Uh, until next time, thanks very much for listening. Bye bye now. The Iron Man came to the top of the cliff. How far had he walked? Nobody knows. Where had he come from? Nobody knows. Taller than a house, the Iron Man stood at the top of the cliff on the very brink in the darkness. The wind sang through his iron fingers, his great iron head shaped like a dustbin, but as big as a bedroom, slowly turned to the right. Slowly turned to the left, his iron ears turned this way, that way. He was hearing the sea, his eyes like headlamps glowed white, then red, then infrared searching the sea. Never before had the Iron Man seen the sea. He swayed in the strong wind that pressed against his back. And his right foot, his enormous iron right foot, lifted up, out, into space, and the Iron Man stepped forward off the cliff into nothingness. Crash! Down the cliff the Iron Man came toppling, head over heels. Crash! Crash! crash. 